Well, Election Day is six days away, and we are tracking the presidential candidates' final push to voters. Thank you so much for joining us on WUSA 9 and streaming on WUSA 9 Plus. I'm Simone D'Alba. Here are three things you need to know about the campaign trail today. First, right now, Vice President Kamala Harris is in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Her campaign event is expected to begin in the next 30 minutes, and she'll be traveling to Madison, Wisconsin tonight. Meanwhile, former President Donald Trump will be in Green Bay, Wisconsin tonight for a campaign rally. Former NFL quarterback Brett Favre is expected to be a guest speaker there. And lastly, as we get closer to Election Day, civil rights groups are pushing back on the U.S. Supreme Court's decision to allow Virginia to move forward with the purging of 1,600 names from the voter roll. We did first bring you this as breaking news at noon. Our Rafael Sanchez Cruz is live in Alexandria. And Rafa, look, there's been a lot of back and forth on this issue. Is there a concern here that eligible voters in Virginia will simply sit this election out? There is that concern, Simone. So as you've mentioned it before, these advocate groups are concerned because they're thinking that people that are on this purge list, some of those who we've reached out to and didn't even know were on it, they're concerned that these voters who have been unlawfully removed will simply assume that they're not eligible to vote for some reason or that they won't take the extra steps to re-register and actually vote. I'm, I'm very pleased. Tonight, Governor Glenn Youngkin is celebrating the U.S. Supreme Court's decision to allow for his non-citizen voter purge program to continue with the removal of 1,600 Virginians from the voter roll just six days away from the election. That just provides further, further comfort across the Commonwealth that this election will be secure, it will be accurate, it will reflect the will of the voters. But the high court's decision does not reflect the will of these voters which is a, sending a disturbing message and that, that our voices are not valued and not wanted and not American. We know that eligible citizens have been disenfranchised by this purge program. Justices Sonia Sotomayor, Elena Kagan, and Ketanji Brown Jackson said they would have denied the request from Virginia officials. This is a win for common sense. It's a win for the rule of law. It means that Virginia can continue to be allowed to follow our own laws. Advocacy groups who filed the lawsuit against Youngkin's program insist that what the Commonwealth is doing is impacting eligible voters. There's two buckets of people who've been removed from the rolls. One are people who were not citizens when they obtained their driver's license and then who since became, became a citizen. And then there's another bucket who made some error at the DMV checking the wrong box. Advocacy groups vowed to continue the legal battle, but in the meantime, they urged those who have been purged unlawfully to vote. The Commonwealth does allow voters to register at their polling place on Election Day and at any early voting site between now and November 2. Now, if you're one of those voters who has been unlawfully removed, these advocates are telling you to reach out to nonpartisan hotlines if you experience some kind of issue when you're trying to vote or re-register. Those phone numbers are up on our website, WUSA9.com. Live in Alexandria, I'm Rafael Sanchez-Cruz, WUSA9. Well, no doubt we'll be hearing from some of those voters who are getting this surprise just days out from the election. Rafa, thank you.